Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Plays XCOM, enemy unknown for absolute beginners. We're at an alien abduction site. And it would appear that most of the board is up here. Okay. But we do need to infiltrate this building. Make sure nothing's in there before heading in over in that direction. to cover while the other sniper's on overwatch. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that was. Heavy footsteps, maybe a mutant. Uh, don't really want to go there yet with the sniper. How about if you head there? <laughs> we better move everyone because they're all kind of grouped together. Uh, okay. Let's get you behind the bar. I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on that thing. We can't get a read on that thing. Its movements are so inconsistent. Okay, uh, this is a cyber disc. Things with it are drones. The cyber disc tends to be very hard to kill, it's hard to hit, it's got a lot of energy. A lot of health, sorry. I can't get a shredder rocket up there, so the shredder rocket would help us to eliminate it. They also have grenades. <laughs> there are no bright spots to these things. So we can take out the cyber disc or we can take out the drones. The drones are not that dangerous but they can heal the cyber disc. But then if I can get a rocket that will probably kill the drones anyway. Whereas the cyber disc not so much. But yeah, their weapons are pretty devastating as we're probably about to find out. That's very lucky. either entirely or mostly robotic, so an experienced heavy will have an advantage against them. Ugh, damn it. And you can't take them alive, in fact they I'm usually explode. Can't entirely even take them dead. Now, in theory, it's more vulnerable this place. You see the drone? The drones just healed it. But, um, yeah. Not great. Can 
can either of our snipers see them? Apparently not. Was he a sniper? Oh, she's panicked. Right. Okay. Right, so I was vulnerable. I might shoot. Okay, I guess not. So I was going to use a shredder rocket. Well, part of me wonders whether a normal rocket might be better, simply because it's in a vulnerable state right now, having just fired. So let's try it. So once you hit them in the vulnerable state, they instantly heal themselves. Both the drones not heal themselves, they instantly shut up again and become less vulnerable. Hopefully someone will hit them. Brilliant. And that's how they explode. So yeah. So we did lose someone, but could have been a lot worse. Alright, I think I will move you there and you just hunker down. And maybe do some reloading. Locked and loaded. Just uh, stay put for a bit. <laughs> while everyone reloads and recovers from that. Uh, I'm gonna go on overwatch because that one's at least one sniper active. snipers there. So I don't know if we could consider it to be sealed off. Hmm. <laughs> Got a big empty hole in the wall there. Maybe it's actually from a, is that from a silence exploding? Be a long way away. You hear that? Not often the rocket was near there either. I've got a visual. <laughs> See, these are more and more the standard enemies now. Negative damage. Whole, uh, whole game is essentially a race against time to upgrade your weapons and armor before the enemy become too powerful for you to deal with. It's a bit of a weird concept really because it kind of assumes that the enemy doesn't bring their full forces to bear straight away. Damn it. Dang, you're getting flanked. 
So Blood Coal, we've seen it before, but I think it gives them some unspecified bonus. Ah. Yep, definitely thinking I should have got better cover. Dead and gone. On the plus side, as usual, the snipers are kind of devastating. Explosives everywhere, but we at least don't need to worry about trying to take them alive. Okay. Because you only get one interrogation, basically. Right. Um, okay, well, this is full cover, so let's go behind this. They're starting to lose ground. Oh, for some reason, it's running towards. Zone. Okay, it's out of range. Fair enough. <laughs> Oddly enough, even though there's no need to take them alive, we could probably actually use the art throw to take them down. Well then we've got a very good chance to hit anyway. Reloading. Oh, definitely thinking about reloading with this guy. Moving forward a bit because you can move and then reload. Oh, yeah. See, the house is worth. Well, not house, the shop is worth infiltrating. Simply, that? Simply because there's a lot of cover in there as well. Well, to be fair, the cars aren't bad. Got a fair amount Good of cover go. from them. Let's rock. It's having a nice little reload fest. Again. Okay. Open fire. Yep. Definitely becoming a stammer. Do it. We really need to get upgrading our weapons up again. Okay, 
It's a bit risky, but it is full cover. And once she's there, she should be a lot of help. Quite so many. Uh, 79, 73. I'm all worried about that one because I think it's going to flank us. managed to shred that mutant oddly enough. I was kind of hoping to get rid of the cover but I was so anxious not to hit my own person that didn't really have a lot of defense. A little help over here, please. Okay, sniper is suppressed. So we have seen that before. It means she can't move without being shot, and her shots will be much less accurate. Unless we can take this person out. Negative yeah. ammo. The enemy is still alive. Oh, oh yeah. stuff. Bullets on. Okay. Well, we will just relay it the next time it hits him. Yeah, but I was kind of hoping to get unsuppressed if possible. Take a risk. Fifty-two. Seriously, he's right next to him. <laughs> wow. Okay, that. That's harsh. That's like really harsh. Okay, right. So, where can she get to? I'm serious, just like get her out of there. Right, looks like with suppression, she can still do a, a decent shot. So, worth a try. Out in the open. That's not good. Yeah, but you didn't have a fifty-one percent chance to hit, did you? Seems somewhat unfair. Place with less cover, that's a good idea. Okay, you need to get somewhere safe. That's better. And now you're definitely flanking. Enemy destroyed. Dead 
Where is Disco? Shot failed to connect. So that wasn't great. <laughs> okay, I don't think we've seen this before, so this is what happens when the panic level reaches 5. That's Japan, so we will lose both of those at the next council meeting unless we send the satellite to reduce panic. But we mustn't send it now, because right now they cannot get more panic. And we only get to send one satellite, so we want to wait till like a day before the council meeting to send the satellites. You only have to send them, you don't have to have them arrive. Okay, that was not great. But we do have a cyber disc and we've got some more alien alloys. We will be in touch, Commander. So yeah, but everywhere is getting worse, of course. So this is another race against time, as well as the enemy getting harder to defeat. So we need to do research. The panic is inevitably gonna keep climbing. So the only way to bring it down more effectively is to move the story forward. So we really need to focus on capturing an outsider. the next thing Dr. Varlin wants us to do. We've lost a soldier so I'm just going to hire one more. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay, just checking our options. Looks like if we had the money, we might be able to build a satellite uplink, but not a satellite nexus. And it does look like we need more power. So mostly, at this stage, we need money. worth getting one each of these in case we're ever up against something massive. So if you remember, I think we researched these last time, the defense matrix helps us avoid getting hit and the uplink targeting helps us hit the enemy. So we're up against a large UFO. Might give us some kind of chance of succeeding. Yeah, so we've got 20 days to the council report, so we mustn't panic. Abductions. We're That's receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Okay, so United States, I think, was in danger of panic, and it does give us engineers. Novgorod. They Europe. I think they Europe. Again, very close to panic. South Africa, again, they were very close to panic. <laughs> so this is a problem. I think we might be better off doing South Africa, plus it gives us money, which is we do need engineers, we're also very low on money. Okay, so I think we've had this before, so an opportunist. But yeah, we could really do with a UFO, because we need to take an outsider now. Right, I don't want three snipers. Even though I'm slightly tempted to want to train another one up, so what do we have? Support, heavy assault. Right, so if we take a rookie. We really need to try to equip our troops. Laser rifle is good. Arc thrower. Okay, so 
Sniper, Sniper, Support, Heavy, Assault. That's fine. Some armor, and a laser rifle, and you stick with the front grenade. That'll do. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Standard alien abduction. <laughs> I'm just deeply worried about what the panic levels are going to be like. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay, nice simple one then. Kind of boxed in. We're just heading over in this direction. Feel like to get the snipers into position. This feels like one of those ones where the aliens don't show up immediately. But I could be wrong, so let's put one on Overwatch just in case. Terrible cover, but I don't think the game particularly sees it that way. Cyber disc. Unfortunately, having moved, you can't actually fire his rocket. No, shot wide. Going in for the kill. Remember, there's no point trying to take a cyber disc alive. You just can't do it. If we're lucky, we get to use our heavy to fire a rocket at them again. Reaction shots will take it out, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay, so I'm doing a shredder rocket because it will make it more vulnerable to other hits. Probably take the drones out as well. That was interesting. I fell through the floor. Okay, it looks like we have a headshot. Oh, so let's do that. You need quite that much to run. Just taking one of these things down without having uh, having an issue is worth it. <laughs> I was getting a little concerned there, something weird was going on with the game. Uh, right, okay going to not move forward too much after that. Just want to regroup a bit. Maybe you can move forward a little bit. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. Not to worry. Oh great, exploding cat. Just for you. Damn it. Bye bye. 
landslides there. Uh, thankfully the car wasn't too close. Okay, so I'm gonna get the snipers on overwatch. And then take it from there. Right, I'm gonna do rapid fire. Out of the game. Has indeed done the trick, which is good. This would be a great place for a sniper to stand. But by the time we get there, we may find most of the enemy are already eliminated, depending how far back this goes and where the aliens actually are. That's a good piece of covering. Watch. You need to reload. Reloaded. You, you need to stay put. You're further forward than most people. Ditto for you. Your cover isn't great. to worry in that direction particularly if you want to move too far forward still <laughs> Pretty much nowhere to take cover. So let's just move you to here. Oops. <laughs> I've knocked a green man over. Sorry about that. I kind of assumed that was just the remnants of the thing they used to capture people anyway, so I don't think there's someone actually in there. We got left behind. What was that? Okay, we might be able to tentatively go on the roof. Very dangerous place to stand, obviously. So keen not to attract attention. Probably going to be on Overwatch for the whole of this round. So she can go on Overwatch and hopefully take down anyone before they take her down because she has no cover over there. Okay. Right, there's nowhere to move to. Any 
sneak over on this side. No. That's annoying. What the hell was that? Okay, so our best place to advance is here. On the side. Move our sniper. It's not great cover there, but. Better cover than the other sniper has, to be fair. I'm hoping she has... I think she does, she'll have the ability where she can... ...gain bonuses for being at a higher elevation. Floaters there as well. No longer a threat. X-ray neutralized. I'm not entirely sure what happened there because it looks like an other thin man took himself out. Oh, was that our other sniper? That makes more sense, I guess. Okay, what do we have? 45 and 45. Oh, sometimes when things are killed, it leaves them on the screen. I think that's a bug. Probably have those for the rest of this particular mission. Right, I'm going to move you up. Because we need support. In fact, I'm not even going in for the kill. Head to better cover. Where we can almost certainly actually shoot them. It's worth remembering if you shoot enough of them, there's a chance they might panic as well, so... Sometimes... Yeah, that's a panic. Sometimes an offence really is the best defence. <laughs> because he was panicking then, it didn't shoot. Giving us a wonderful opportunity to. What the hell was that? Alright, well, I think that was a great opportunity for us to get our snipers on overwatch before we do anything else. I think she's already taken her turn, which is fair enough. So yeah, it's just this soldier has got this permanent two aliens, and they're not really there, so we just have to ignore them. This one on the other hand is. It's raining death over here. So they're usually quite accurate with these pistols, but fortunately on this occasion, not so much. Yep, yeah, and that was a miss hit. It's a bit too easy to do that sometimes, so I'll just use the rest of his move to get him into decent cover. So I am not leaving him there. Could fire a rocket, it wouldn't seem worth it for him, really. All we need is one decent shot, and we'll have them. Again. So again, we don't need to take these guys alive. Another day, another successful up. 
Okay, so we have Panic in Russia. Panic in the United States. Okay, there's still only four. Could have been worse. I was seriously expecting it to be worse. But that is now more panicking nations that we have satellites. I believe we have three. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. Yeah, a bit better than the last one. No alloys though, which I think is what we're mostly missing. Looks like we didn't get a Cyberdisc corpse this time, but we did still get some drones. Remember, we will be watching. We did get money from that. So, four nations panicking. Now, Canada and Germany could be a big problem because they already have satellites. So we don't have the option of sending a satellite. So we really just need to hope for a UFO. And in the meantime, we need satellites. So I'm going to build another satellite uplink. Even though we want to build Nexuses really, because they're better. We don't have the alloys and I don't think we can afford to risk it. Takes a while to build the uplink, takes a while for the satellites to arrive. So we've ordered a satellite, so that will give us enough for what we need before the council group. But unfortunately, we're not going to get the satellite in time. Good grief, 20 days. So as things stand, we're definitely going to lose someone from the council. Contact detected. Okay, so this is good news. It's a landed UFO, it's a large scout, which I think is the largest we've actually dealt with, but it should have an outsider. So this could really save us. So, interesting. Do we want to take snipers anyway? grounds that this is going to be difficult. We definitely want at least two assaults. We do not have two assaults. Okay. That being the case, let's take our rookie again. And this time we're going to give him an arc throw. We're going to treat him as an assault trip. Will to survive. Reduces all normal damage taken by two if you cover and not flanked. That's pretty good. Support, okay, so suppression or revive. I prefer revive. Let's focus on the main skill, which is actually support. I suppose suppression does count to support. Two arc throws. I think I might stick with the snipers, but we do not want to take out the outsider. We're still we're a bit low on experienced people anyway, so at least a sniper should help us deal with everything else. We'll just have to be careful near the UFO. Because having the one overwatch near the UFO could mean that we lose the outsider and we really need to capture. Hoping this might reduce panic in Germany as well. Our target site is near the German border. Reports indicate. Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Yeah, this is what makes this one dangerous. They're basically as big a UFO as we've ever encountered, and they've landed, so they've got a full complement of soldiers. Hence for two snipers, but yeah, I think this is going to be one for next time. So, 
really hoping it goes well and if it does we'll be moving on with the story and hopefully have a way to reduce panic across the board because otherwise it looks like we'll be losing a council member we shall find out but thank you for watching and i will see you next time